Simon's actually left us. Yeah. And where are we going? We're going down there now. To a, a secret church. Oh. Um, couldn't tell you the name of it. I think the area around here is called Flisk. So maybe it's oh, called Flisk. I've heard of that. Right, maybe it's so Flisk Church. You know? Flisk. We're going to Flisk. We're going to Frisk Flisk. Yep. Indeed we are. Well, here it is, the old church of Flisk. Oh, look at this. Looks like a shell, but excellent. And oh, this graveyard. Excellent. Right, let's go and find the oldest grave in the, the parish. Well, unfortunately, there's Harris fencing all around this little church. But uh, I think I can maybe... Oh, hang on. Well, I thought Simon was going in there for a minute. So it looks like we're locked out here. All oh, right, well, we're in, but not really much here to see, I'm afraid, but... Um, yeah, not much here at all, just a... Have we found? It's a uh, metal fence. Oh, yes. With a hole down there. Oh, is that a grave? It's kind of like uh, it steps that look like it used to be on some of this having a board. Oh, we've got a boiler room. What is that? This is a random find of the day, Andy. Who's it by? Top flight. Oh, they're good. They're good. XL. Yeah. Awesome. Give that a go. Yeah. Well, yes. We have a side of the church. Is it blocked off? There's a bit of cam like here. Have you found some berries? Yourself or behind you. No, no, just filling the berries. Found a, an A4 sized grave to um, John Mitchell, was it? I think it was, yes. Uh, beloved husband of Catherine, we think, Rintoul, who died at Toddington, Bedfordshire, yeah. in Easter, on Easter Sunday, 1904, aged possibly 34 years. But the strange yeah, thing here, Simon's sure. coming in to show us. It is definitely Catherine Rintoul because you can see the way that is the. Yeah. The way those dots. It's like a gravestone with braille on it. Yeah. That's yeah, a strange one, isn't it? Very odd indeed. I'm guessing maybe the lettering fell off and that's how it's stuck into the rock. Oh, well, possibly. Yeah. When we used this during summer barbecues, um, we would get the parishioners around with a hog roast. And 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 right, folks, there we go. That brings our day to a close now. I've, I've, I've known Simon before. I got to meet Andy today, which is fantastic. So the extra day. Got an extra point for that because I met Andy today. Oh, thank you. And he's, he's even better looking than I am. So, <laughs> you know, so we, we've all met now and we all know each other. So we're going to have a lot more adventures together again. And it's fantastic to meet some wonderful chaps who are ilk-minded like ourselves. So all in all, I've really enjoyed my day. And it's been fantastic meeting you both again. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. So yeah. what does this place get on pleasure. the speedometer? Oh, well, this only gets a two or something, I'm afraid. This is yeah. just a very small It's little, just a yeah. bonus. Just a wee bonus. Two and a half for the washer-shaped grave. That, that yeah. was well worth it indeed. But it's, it's another place that I haven't been, so I'm um, glad to have been here. So thank you, lads. You know, these guys have taken me to places that I would never have been, especially Simon. Uh, he's taken me to loads of places so far. So hopefully we'll have some more adventures coming. Spiz is expanding. Thank you. Go. Now, inspired by Grandad as an old man, garbage or gold. Um, this is from the pound shop and it is, it only cost me a pound, and it is one of these little vacuum cleaners, you plug it into your USB, it's supposed to be for keyboards, but I thought, you know, it might be quite good for in the car, so I'm going to just give it a quick try and see if it's good, or is it crap? Well folks, unfortunately that is about the power I'm getting out of it, and it's got a little light on it. But it's obviously designed for the keyboard because it ain't picking up diddly squat here, man, I'm afraid. Well, mind you, I picked up a crumb of sugar there, so that's going to be quite handy. Hmm, I don't know. The jury's still out. I think it's pretty crap, really. Obviously designed for keyboards. The job I'm trying to do with it is not what it was designed for. Anyway, 
Only a pound. Hang on a minute, folks. I did not spot this. It's got a turbo button. Whoa! Let's have a look now. I think it's... Oh, that's much better now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, with a turbo button. Certainly does pick up some sort of stuff anyway. So, yeah, not too bad. It's all right. 